Yes, but not the first episode, because I've already watched the first episode. I want the second episode. If you're coming to this video first and you haven't watched my reaction to the first episode, I'm gonna put the card up somewhere where you can check out that video. If you are coming from that, my pizza is ordered. I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, that's a new little um, opening thing. My guy, Ben Barnes. Hello. Oh, sometimes I just look at his face and I see the Punisher dragging it across a broken mirror and it's just, oh. Oh, we're back to Mal. Ooh, ouchie. Are you so sure? Because I know better than anyone else does. Oh, poor Mal. <laughs> what a schmuck. He doesn't. Oh, is that my pizza? Oh, it's my neighbor, not my pizza. <laughs> That's a cool shot. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, he's obviously a baddie, but he's like, he's a baddie. <laughs> is that my pizza? It has arrived. And Alina is being very stupid. Ah, oh, they cut it into six, not eight. Which is horrible because I like to eat four pieces. And when it's cut into eight, four pieces is only half a pizza. Oh, somebody just got hit in the face with an arrow. I need a napkin. Oh, who are these guys? Right, it's time to get Alina. Mmm, Ben! Is that cut him in half or something? Oh! Oh, man! Benny! Oh! Uh, Jasper wants the explosive expert, his boyfriend, right? Are they in love? Piece number two. Alina's on the Darkling's horse. I don't know why she didn't go with him just from the beginning. That seems silly. Oh my god, those were Druskella or whatever. The big dummy, Mateus was one of those guys. Wow! She is so whiny. I hate her. Man, I don't want to save the world. I want to go check out the boy who doesn't notice me. Number three, I'm eating this too fast. I wish they'd cut it into eight. But I was just talking about how like technology's canceling out Grisha power. That's cool. Oh yes, Jasper. Yo, be a fancy self. Let's go. Oh, interesting. The person that Aline was sent to kill is the conductor. The little buddies are with um, Mal. I love them. I hope they go with him. I hope they have like a little team. Oh. <laughs> Very full. <laughs> Episode two was like, okay, it was fine. I think I like Kaz better because we don't see his internal monologue. Oh, she's dreaming about the dough. Interesting. The friend. I like the friend, the ginger friend girl. Interesting, Nina is the one who grew up in the place where they're trying to break into. I'm so curious to see how they're gonna work Matthias in. I'm really enjoying this. Get him, Nina. Oh, she just got smoked right in the face. Oh, that wasn't Nina. Was that Nina? That wasn't Nina? Was that Nina? No, you're not feeling lucky, Jesper. You're not. <sighs> oh my God, the line where the queen says, I guess she's shoe enough. Oh gosh. That hits me. And what are you? Oh! This bitch. She is Alina Starkov, son someone. What are the odds that they totally subvert our expectations for him being the baddie? Do you think they're gonna do that? I'd be really happy if they did that. I'm excited about this part. Ooh, yes. Let's go, Darkling. She looks like she's six and he's 30. I actually liked this scene in the book. Nina's going on the ship now? Oh, is that him? Are you Mateus? Yo, tell him, Nina. I wonder how this is gonna work into the rest of the story. I'm very confused, but very interested. Jasper, no detours. <laughs> I love the conductor. I love him. He is my new favorite character. Oh my god. Tasters. <laughs> what a horrible job. <laughs> Jesper and the goat, next level. Ooh, is Jesper gonna do some magic? Oh, he's just gonna shoot people. I thought he was gonna do some fabricating. I like that Jesper had this moment because he didn't really have one in um, in the books, or I didn't feel like he had one in the book. I'm very confused at why we're getting a montage at the end of episode three. Very interesting choice. That seemed like filler, okay. Episode three is done and I'm gonna go to bed because I'm so full of pizza. <laughs>
again, I'm sleepy. I'm about to start episode four. Leftover pizza. I really like reheated pizza with fried eggs on top. Nom, 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 nom. Yes, I am wearing the same thing as yesterday. Yes, I am eating the same thing as yesterday. And if doing that is wrong, I don't want to be right. I spent all day editing my reaction video for episode one. And the, the one thing that stuck out to me is that the music in this is so good. The music is so good. Yeah, let's uh, start. Episode four. Right, right, right. He's like the best tracker in the world. I like that we're seeing his perspective. We didn't see that in the book and I'm I'm enjoying that. I also like this Captain Guy. I don't know where I know him from. I don't know why I saluted him, but. I have a real question for Netflix. Why the bad wigs? I know Ben Barnes is a bad guy, but like, ah! I love him. I'm just gonna watch this scene again. General? Alexander. He's playing her like a fiddle and he's playing me like a fiddle. Cool. I'm doing a heist for the, the blueprint of the little palace. Oh my god. Jesper is saying goodbye to the goat. <laughs> the conductor is so cute. Please. <laughs> you didn't actually think we'd let you go on your own. His little buddies are going with him. <laughs> Light. Ow. Again. <laughs> this teacher is abusive. <laughs> this Kaz is funnier than these the other cats. She's inside! The lights are on! I was actually just wondering if this was gonna be the heist that works and then like the next heist is the heist that doesn't work. She's so sneaky. I am not that sneaky. I feel like Jesper has so much more to do in this show than he did in the books. Did I miss a huge chunk of the books where Jesper did literally anything? I want more Nina and Mateus. Yes, Nina! Oh, he brought her food. I'm so, I'm so excited! Their story. Oh. They've changed his character a little bit, which is interesting. They're making him more sympathetic, which I'm okay with. I mean, they've made Kaz more more sympathetic as well. I feel like I should find this problematic. <laughs> oh, she just spit it back in his face. I'm here for this enemies to lovers romance. And there's the acrobat. Yo, Aline is tripping out on some tea right now. The mean lady drugged her. Oh my god. Okay, she did get tested. Good, because I actually quite like this storyline. And there was one bit in, in the book that I really enjoyed where basically she had like huge bags under her eyes. And that started because of the stress of her hiding her abilities. I thought that was such an interesting detail. I feel like the details of the world and the magic system and that stuff in both Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows was so great. It's just the characters sucked. <laughs> oh my God, are they gonna make out right now? <laughs> oh, the Fearedens, I think. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, they have a machine gun. Oh my god, no, I don't want the little buddies to die! Oh! What? Oh, he got thrown in the brick to go see her. It's so cute. This is better than in the show. I mean, the book. This is better than in the book. Oh! Oh! I thought he was dead. I thought Mal was dead and Alina's erasing her scar and like whatever, but ugh, why is she being that way? Oh, she's so stupid. <laughs> oh my God, are his little buddies dead? I knew they were too funny to survive. I'm pissed. All right, just about to start episode five. I was right, Jesper's gay. Checking out the horse dude. I don't know why I thought that that was in my head. Get it, Jesper, get it. Oh my god! Whoa! She just walked right up to him and just started making out with him! Wow! 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 Alina! Alina! Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable! Oh my god, Jesper flirting with this guy. I can't even... I'm getting Jesper! 
I love the conductor so much. I think he's my favorite character, and he was in the books. Yeah, I'm at the part where she's walking to the room and everything's in slow motion. She's making eyes at Ben Barnes, and I'm just like, very, very uncomfortable with this whole situation. I cannot even with Alina right now. I don't even understand. I just dislike her so much. I will say, really enjoying anything with the Six of Crows people. They're about to do the light show thing. You make a speech, Ben? Professor. Undying love to me? <laughs> no, you're gonna talk about Alina? Okay. okay. Makes sense. I'm afraid of what's gonna happen. Is she gonna mess up or are they not gonna get her? Are they gonna get her and and she <laughs> Okay, she's doing it now. Whew, that took some pressure off of me. Santa Lina! <laughs> Jasper's still doing the dude! Jasper, you have a job to do, get a fast horse! I'm actually pretty excited because this is now like really diverging from the plots of the books. I'm I'm fired up. I'm really, I'm I'm excited. I'm ready. Oh my God, and Alina's gonna see Mal. Oh, this creepy, creepy guy! Are the Darkling and Mal gonna measure their dicks? Why does he want to talk to him alone? Ah, right. ah, I'm stressed! Beg your pardon. Oh, he's holding like information about the stag hostage to see Alina and That's I'm losing it. Oh, you know he knows her. That is a lie. He just lied to Mal. He said he's gonna bring Alina. That's a lie. Don't believe him, Mal. Go join the Six of Crows instead. Oh, oh my God. The ginger Fred just smoked. Oh, she's okay. She's okay. She's okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Why would they send him alone? It's not, oh, can she? Oh my god, but he killed her from General Whoever, so he's working for another team? Oh, okay, of course. Kaz knows. He knows everything. Oh my god, he gave her blue irises! I am done! He is playing her so hard! I am so much more invested in this than I was in the book. Oh my gosh, now Mal's going to talk to the mom lady. Oh my god, no! Tofen. Oh, they're killing him because then the information. I get it. I just don't like it. She has Kenya. I hate Alina so much for being so taken in. What? They're gonna bone right there on the fucking map table? No, 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 no. Stop it, Alina. Stop it. Thank you. Somebody knocking on the door. Oh, she is so thirsty, girl. Okay, okay. You're laying it on too thick, Ben. Get out of here. Oh, his mom is here now to give her the goods. Give her the goods. Oh, this is the escape part from the book. Okay, 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 okay. I'm here for it. I'm so curious to see. Oh, get it, Bagda. Bagra. <laughs> I really like that. It all happened a lot faster. I felt like this scene was so slow in the book. I'm like, girl, why are you being so dumb? But this is much better. I like this much, much better than in the book. Oh my God, do not go to the left. Oh. It's like every chance Alina has to make a dumb decision, she takes. Every single one. She is batting a hundred for stupid decisions. Yo, Kaz just broke that guy's hand. Do you know how hard it is to heal little bones in your hand? They don't have modern medicine, Kaz. Whoa, he's awake! Oh my god! And Naz just threw a knife in his head! Are they gonna make out? Like, what's happening here? <laughs> Got to go, Nash. Got to go. Pray your saints and see you later. Kerrigan got ghosted. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. She walked right in, and Jasper is watching, and she just puts herself right in the carriage. You know, like. And she just walked into your freaking thing. Oh my god, I'm so excited for episode six. Go Netflix, go. <laughs> Oh, the conductor. Oh, I like him so much. Liar. Yo, Ben Barnes does a good crazy. He's hot, but he does a real good job at crazy. Ooh, you're gonna like cut him in half with your little uh, darkness blade? Ah! I don't get it. Can you choke somebody with darkness? Is that how uh, darkness works? Oh no, she's sneaking away. Oh, okay, they're there. They see her. They know she's... Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh my god, it's a G! 
so it wasn't a team up. Oh, Nina! Swimming with that huge chunk of wood, though. You know, like, I just don't know. I don't know if that's the best plan for uh, this uh, Matthias-Nina duo. Doing their very own Jack and Rose. Okay, Melina's done something stupid. Did her shiny light thing in somebody's eyeballs, and now people are running after her, and I want the Six of Crows people to come and scoop her up and save her. That's what I would like to have happen now, please. Man, Alina, you bitch. Don't look at him like that. <laughs> Matthias and Nina getting naked to stay warm. I am dying. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> he is so cute and stupid. Good, Alina feels bad about getting rid of the scar in her hand. Good, you should feel bad. Oh, and Nash just learned that Kaz leveraged the crow club for her. This is so cute and messed up. We just got the I see you now line. Get out of here. <laughs> Nina, you sultry minx. Yo, Jasper with the top hat and the guns. I'm just so here for it. I'm so here for it every time. Oh, I am obsessed with Jasper. Obsessed. Oh, the little kid. Frogs a bit, am I right? What are you? Big softy. Big softy. Oh, and Nez Ruthless. Matthias' accent is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. That can't be a real accent, right? Make it go! Make it go! Make it go! You are powerless. Oh my gosh. He's gonna pull her up. I know he's gonna pull her up, but like that look in his eyes for that moment when she fell through. Oh, I felt it. I felt his like, oh, his his lack of surety. Yo, I love that she knows she made stupid choices. Does she know she's still making stupid choices? All right, all right. I'm at the end of episode six. I'm into it. Not as hyped as I was at the end of last episode. Similar to uh, Six of Crows, the storyline that I'm most interested in or invested in is um, Nina and Matthias. So I've just realized there are only eight episodes. I guess a lot of this story, different stories, is going to be left for season two. Oh, it's old timey! Oh! I almost want this to be setting up a redemption arc, you know? But I also, like, don't have time for his bad wig. Oh! I'm here for you, Ben! Get your redemption arc! Get it! I mean, maybe not redemption, but at least like a little bit of a reason. Yo, fuck these people up. Fuck these bitches up, Darkling! Get them! Yes! Yes! Yo, you're all toasted. You're all done. You're all done. Wow! He just decapitated them all just like that. Poop! Oh, he's trying to get her healed. Oh my god, he's gonna do something reckless to save everybody or something and then create the fold or something something. Oh my god, is this in the book? Is he a good guy by the end of the trilogy? Get them all. Get them all, Benny. Yo, he's gonna fuck you guys up. Yo, get him! Get him! Oh, and he's making the thing things. Oh. Somebody please tell me this is not how the fold is created in the books. That is so, 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 so much power with no explanation. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't love it. I know how I feel about it. I don't love it. <laughs> I'm like low-key on his side now after that. Not shooting this dag is literally the first good decision Alina has made in seven episodes. I, I was actually very surprised in the book when they killed this dag. I didn't think that that was going to happen. Oh my god. The bones are like coming out of her neck. It's in his hand. Holy shit. That's disgusting. <gasps> David! Alina, you dumb, dumb, dummy. Oh my god. The Darkling talking to Mal about how he's gonna get old and Alina's gonna be young forever. Oh my god. Ruth Liz! Oh my god, I love him. You tell him, Mal. You tell him. Oh, Jasper looks nice in that outfit. I just finished episode seven. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was pretty fucking good. I really, really like the way Six of Crows is being blended in with Shadow and Bone. My favorite storyline from Six of Crows, Nina and Matthias, could be completely removed from the show and nothing would change. I kind of wonder why they're here in such a short season. I don't think they need to be here right now. I'm happy that they're here, but they don't need to be here right now. But other than that, man, like, great. Way better than the books.
both books. I think partially because we're not getting like Kaz's internal monologue, so I don't hate him as much. And also that Shadow and Bone was just so pedestrian. And this is making it better. And as I said before, the world is incredible. Incredible, incredible. I'm so impressed. I'm kind of doing some mental world building while I'm writing my other stories, thinking about things that are gonna happen in the future of the world that I'm writing. And it's so tough. It's so, so tough to make these decisions that that like might shackle you as a writer. Um, uh, and she has woven this world together so beautifully. And I just wish that she uh, was able to put that same depth into her characters in the books. Because as much as I really loved Jesper in the books and the Matthias Nina storyline, they weren't the focus. And the characters who were the focus, I didn't care about. So I wonder if those characters that I did care about were the focus, would they have also been as shallow? Because we didn't see them so much so they didn't have to be as deep. And anyways, I, I'm excited to watch the next episode of this. I'm excited to watch whatever the next season may be, if there is one, hopefully. Because this looks like it's going to end at the first, the end of the first book. And who knows, maybe this next episode will uh, make me want to read the, the rest of the Grisha trilogy. Anyways, go drink some water or something. You're probably dehydrated. <laughs>